Under Egypt's burning sun and an average temperature of 40 degrees Celsius, citizens continued their protests. With most people fasting in Ramadan, rallying in this heat without food or drink became a battle of perseverance. Liberal powers called their supporters for a protest in Tahrir, from the Friday prayers at noon to an iftar meal at sunset. But the numbers in the square were weak. There are few people because of the heat and the fasting. Later in the evening, we expect many more people. In Tahril, each person comes alone and like the Brotherhood who rent buses and give allowances for their supporters to stay. On the other hand, Muslim Brotherhood supporters were more tolerant to the harsh fasting conditions in the street. The scene that you see here is the greatest indication on how keen these people are to get back their rights. They're sustaining this immense heat to reject the military coup. There should be no weapons in politics. We reject that. They protested on the first Friday in Ramadan, and they're planning to continue until Morsi returns. While their former ally, the Salafi Noor Party, is leading talks to include the Brotherhood in Egypt's new transition. To reach that, it hopes to give Morsi a right to run through the next election if the Brotherhood will hold on to him through the next race. Egyptians who ousted President Morsi were not very keen to take the streets during the daytime. But Morsi's supporters, however, exerted more effort by protesting 24-7, sending a message that even fasting in Ramadan will not stop them. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.